anyone that has pets, and they probably all consider the members of their family, should learn skills and techniques of pet first aid and CPR the same as they would for their two-legged family members. Anybody that has a pet really should put together their own pet first aid kit. Uh, there's a number of really great websites. ASPCA.org has some great information on there about pet emergency preparedness. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can download and print off a list of, you know, recommended items that you have, should have in your pet first aid kit uh, because you don't want to go around in the middle of an emergency trying to gather up what it is that you need to take care of your pet. You know, if you have a cheat sheet that has the appropriate dose for your pet already on there, in the middle of an emergency when time is of the essence, that's not when you want to be sitting there trying to calculate out what's the correct dose for, you know, this particular animal. You know, and most accidents are preventable. Um, you know, by and large, I think it's something like one out of four visits to vet hospitals as a result of a preventable accident. When we get one of these kits, it comes with three different size masks. And so it depends, you know, you can use it for dogs, cats of various, you know, sizes. And then it also has the tubing included. And you can hook them up either to an Ambu bag or you can hook them up to um, medical oxygen tank. Either, either one will work. They also come with really great things. There's um, laminated instruction sheet in there. And there's also a DVD in there on instructions on how to hook them up to either an Ambu bag or the oxygen tank. And also step-by-step -step kind of flow sheet mm -hmm. instructions on doing CPR and rescue breathing.